festive greetings to all our viewers. It is the festive season, the time for moments and memories, for sweets and symphonies. And it is that time of the year where ET Now takes you to the home of yet another ace investor. I'm at Chalakudi, 50 kilometers out of Cochin, at the house of Porinju Veliath of Equity Intelligence. Neeraj, Happy Diwali, Happy Diwali to you. Please thank, come. Thank you so much for having us, Great. having ET now at your place. Even I am so privileged <laughs> and I am very happy about it. Thank you so much. It's uh, my wife, Liti. Hello. Hi, Liti. Happy Diwali. Happy Diwali. Happy Diwali. Happy Diwali. Yes. Happy Diwali. So, is Shilpa, this, my Shilpa. Daughter. Hi, Shilpa. Yeah. So, is this, I, I see the house decorated as well. Is this the typical Diwali tradition, Purinju? Yes, thank yes. Thank you so much. We really enjoy Diwali and we stay here. And, uh, we have that uh, basic decorations and all we enjoy. In mm -hmm. the evening we have crackers. Wow. Yeah. Okay, and is this how the typical Diwali is? I mean, what are the preparations that you do? Because I see the house decorated. Yes. There's a lot of stuff happening outside as well. What do you do? What are the preparations? We decorate the house and we, use, we make diyas and okay. we will have special food as, a, as well. Being a family time, uh -huh. so we'll have special food. Okay. Special and, and Diwali you food. You can. Have a lot of. I mean, do you have a lot of holidays where you participate uh, with the family? Not really. We just get a day or two holiday, mm -hmm. so it's really exciting. Okay. So I have all the crackers, and the diyas. Yeah. I'm sure. So and we love bursting crackers as okay. well. Okay. So that is something that we'll do in the evening as well. I'm sure. sure. And and just a word about the food as well. Typically, uh, Kerala coastal food is is very renowned. Is that the kind of food that you prepare for Diwali? Not exactly. We try to uh, make Diwali sweets and all. Okay. And that is something that we'll get a sample of today as well? Sure. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for having us as well. So, Purinju, uh, just talk a bit about what you do around this house because I see it's, it's, it's a nice green property. I mean, what, what is the life around in this house? Yeah, it's, uh, this is a place where I am born and, you know, I have a lot of attachment to that. Okay. I, I spend three days here normally, weekends and uh, extended weekends. Okay. And uh, we really enjoy it. It's a very relaxing place. It's back to the nature. And it's uh, full of green. Yes. Uh, it's a farm. We do some farming activity and uh, paddy and some vegetables and fruits. Okay. Uh, I really enjoy that. It's very relaxing, you know, especially doing uh, equity analysis or fund stock picking. Um, this is a big difference and it really rejuvenates uh, and uh, I really enjoy it. And I, I can't really miss it, you know, any week. Okay. So, coming to the farm is all about relaxation, so on and so forth. What, 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 what is it that really brings you to this outhouse? Because I see a lot of green. Is it connecting with nature that excites you? Yeah, of course, nature, you know, being close to the plants and uh, the animals, birds. Mm. And, uh, you know, that's something, uh, it's really relaxing. Right. No words can really explain that. Yes. And this is a place, you know, it's a... Yeah, you mentioned this is where you were born as well. Yeah, I'm born in this place. This okay. place is called Chalakudi. Okay. It's yes. quite near to Adiripilli waterfalls. Yes. Uh, you know, some famous movies are being shot there. Yes. And uh, it's, it's a basic place, but you know, um, it's, it's rich uh, with uh, portable water, hmm. underground water. Wow, okay. And uh, that's why we have the pool and uh, the streams around. Sure, and we'll look around that as well. Yeah. But is, 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 does being connected with nature, I mean, I'm, what I'm trying to find out is that the reason you come here almost every single week, you spend a Diwali here, is it because it also helps you rejuvenate and think better about equity markets? Yes, of course. But this is my basic living. Okay. Uh, and it, it, it happened to be, I'm, I'm so lucky that it happens, uh, that it's a reju rejuvenating experience also. Okay. Every day I spend, any day I spend here. Okay. And uh, so it's really enjoyable. And um, I think uh, Kerala is so blessed with uh, this kind of attire and atmosphere, the mm. nature. Uh, many people are enjoying it. Mm. And uh, I, I know many uh, North Indian families are there. You yeah. know, they uh, acquire some small properties around here. Sure. And uh, for making holiday homes. Sure, sure. No, it's beautiful. But this isn't a holiday home for you. This is almost home. Yeah, for it's you. my home, holiday home. And uh, it has got all aspects. Have, have of the my best home. equity investment ideas come from this place? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> because, you know, uh, I believe equity investing is uh, it's not a hectic kind of activity. Mm. If somebody make it really hectic, mm. it's going to underperform. Mm. This is something uh, we have to keep it simple as we always discuss. Right. 
and uh, uh, you know the bare minimum things and too much information is not good mm. and uh, if you stay in a city and uh, you know there's too much noise too much information people calling you and uh, on the phone on internet uh, i think it takes away a lot of uh, spirit of living sure so which is why you come to this home and stay here without all those outside disturbances you cut out the noise not really i anyway will come here it's my attachment it's my place i am born it's of my course. home yes, basic home. home yes so i enjoy it that way but fortunately it gives me that uh, extra uh, you know comfort and luxury of uh, being in a very uh, place with serenity and uh, back to the nature with a lot of water around yes uh, and uh, you know that's something something i think this is every human being should experience and and porinjo i can hear some waterfall i can see a water body out there there is a lot of lakes some lilies etc all of that this this must have taken time to uh, reach this stage i mean there's a lot of hard work that has gone into making this home the way it is uh, again this has been almost like this okay. for example there was a pond when i was a child uh, in my childhood i used to jump into the pond that it is like a not so uh, posh kind of a po uh, sure, pond in but it's a pond nevertheless yeah so we have to just make it bigger and uh, make it more usable sure okay even somebody like you come and you know you should not be scared to get so we've done some it. work on that yeah, there's a lot of other work that has gone in and you have animals plants and a lot of uh, other activities that you do around the house yeah, as well paddy things, farming so on so forth no neither those things really doesn't take any effort yes it's part of normal living uh, maybe 20 30 years ago in everybody in kerala was do, living okay. that way and you're still everybody will that. have a cow few you know hens and some ducks or geese sure and these things uh, now the cow is a, is an is a livelihood for many families in the sure, sure. Uh, earlier times even today right, right. in many villages and you're continuing to do that yeah we Great. because it gives you not only the pleasure of uh, you know doing it yes plus you know get very good milk Yes. Uh, so there's a lot of benefits attached to it. Fresh milk you get, you know. Nowadays in the city we don't get uh, yes. fresh milk. Okay. So you you know you can understand how Purinjal Valley thinks about his house. I guess that's how we think about the stock market investments as well. Don't just look at one picture. Look at the holistic picture. But um, before we slip into that break, take a slice. Here's a slice of some of the activities that he does around his home. Welcome back. We are at home with Porinju Veliyat uh, at uh, uh, 50 kilometers outside Kochi, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. This place is called Chalakudi. Chalakudi. Yes, we spoke about it. So now, Porinju, my my question to you is: uh, Sitting out here in your perch in Chalakudi, what do you feel about the new Sambat 2072? How do you think the next 12 months are likely to be for the equity markets? I am very optimistic, and I would say I am bullish on the next one year, mm -hmm. definitely. Uh, but at the same time, what are you bullish on? Whether you are bullish on the Nifty, Sensex, on the market, mm. or on your stocks? That's mm. a major, basic question. I think every investor should ask. Right. So in that perspective, see, even 2071, mm. um, it it was a very good year for me in equity investing. Uh, I think many others also have uh, had a good experience. Yes. But maybe the very large funds and uh, cash flow investors maybe. uh seeing it as a very flat kind of a year for the stock market right we have the nifty almost 8000 last year and this year also it's almost around 8000 yes so it's it was a flat year for the people who are watching and following index yes. indices yes uh for me it was something like 47 48% Uh, 47% returns return in your for, fund, in your BMS. Year. Yeah. Wow, that's staggering. So that's against flat uh, Nifty and Sensex. Okay, so just before we, what led to this 47% return? I mean, wh how, what kind of stocks really made the difference? I mean, did you choose growth stocks? Did you choose value stocks? What did you do? I don't have any such parameters. Okay. I don't look at stocks whether it's a growth stock. No, which is fine. But uh, when you chose these stocks, yeah, so what are the stocks that really matter? Basically, I would returns? say the apt word could be you know near edge stock picking. Hmm. Stock picking is an art. 
and that's all about value investing. Yes. Uh, if if we just wait for the market to be going up, Nifty going up 20, 30 percent every year, yes. that may not be the the, right. the practical in life. Right. So we have to be uh, good stock pickers to make create wealth. Okay. And uh, that way, you know, uh, I think even the earlier year, 2070 mm. to 71, mm. that uh, 2070, right. we had a 121 percent return in the portfolio management. Okay. So Purinjo, let me do this. Let me try and figure out what worked for you. So I was looking at your portfolios over the last 12 months. Uh, and there, uh, and there have been, I mean, we've discussed some of these ideas as well. Maybe an NIT has performed yeah. for you, maybe a Force Motors has performed for you. What, let's talk about Force Motors, for, for example. Why did you choose it when you chose it? You, you picked it up 400, 500 rupees. Why yeah, did you that's pick it right. Up? See, Force Motors, um, uh, I found it's a great business, hmm. but not very dynamically managed, creating wealth for the shareholders in the earlier decades, sure. not even years. Right. Uh, but I found, you know, I, I, I was smelling some change uh, in the profile of the management. Okay. and their attitude towards uh, share, minority shareholders, right. along with the Bajaj exiting the stock. Right. So it was a very special situation. Mm. And uh, I had in mind, you know, my gut feeling was that Ferodias will never create wealth as long as Bajaj has been holding the stock. Mm. So I found it is a trigger. This is very practical wisdom in the stock market. Right. Uh, you know, we can't say what kind of theory we apply for right. the, sure. this kind of a stock picking. Huh. You have to keep your eyes and ears open. Okay and uh, look for ideas. We okay. can't say from where the idea is coming, what kind of idea is coming, you okay. can't predefine. Okay. So it's all about common sense approach into stock picking. Right. And uh, Force Motors at uh, you know, 400, 500, you know, it was, a, it was our blood almost uh, cash equivalent or much below the book value of the company. Okay. And uh, it, is a, it is a market leader in such a big country with okay. 1.3 billion people living. Right. And you know, that, uh, the, that traveler kind of segment right. and their relationship with these German majors uh, Benz and all those kind of sure. people. So, so I've, we've yeah. got that thesis. My question to you now, therefore, is I just wanted to for viewers to understand why, how is it that you chose stocks that you chose? Now, keeping that thesis in mind, are you using the same parameters for stock picking this year for the next year? No two companies, how does it change? no two stocks will have same parameters. Agree completely. At. No, yeah. but the, the basics remain the same. Look at uh, you know cash equivalent. Look at cash in the books. Look at the quality of management. Mm -hmm. Or oh, that is not happening. All these things should be there in our mind. Sure. We should consider everything. It is not one, two, three, or ten or twenty. I'm telling you, there are hundreds of parameters right. which are applicable to different stocks, different companies, different geographies, different industries, mm. different you know periods of time. So for the new Samvat Purinju, yes. what is looking good? Uh, what kind of stocks are you looking at? Um, it's not, uh, I don't want to talk as segment. Sure. But uh, normally I don't do that. Yes. But this time, this Samvats to, uh, 2072, mm -hmm. I, will, I feel like talking about the EPC opportunities emerging in the, com in the country. Okay. It's a very special, perhaps unprecedented uh, kind of an opportunity for equity investors in the markets. Okay. Uh, uh, unfortunately, you know, they had a very, a very bad time. Yes. Most of these companies the last in the infrastructure uh, space, hmm. um, which, which, which is a very important activity for the country, yes. even going forward. Yes. So, but m most of these companies like GVKs and GMRs, and they all have spoiled their balance sheet. I don't know the survival, survival of many of these companies, right. maybe not sure. Right. Uh, so what I would say, come below those kind of... Uh, fancied names in the earlier infra segment. Mm. There are some companies in the mid cap segment, mm. uh, which have you know kept the balance sheet okay, mm -hmm. reasonably good. Mm -hmm. Some of them are cash rich, some of them are debt free. Right. But they, so those kind of companies, if they have execution capability also, right. that's a very important ingredient, sure. then they are for good times. I would say great times. Okay. Next one year, two year, three year and five years in India. Okay. Because the kind of EPC opportunities mm in the infrastructure segment, sure. in road construction, uh, in bridges and uh, other kind of uh, building sure. constructions. Sure. So that, that's very huge. Mm. So those companies who are capable of execution and who are, have got kept a balance sheet reasonably good, right. uh, I'm telling you there could be many multi-baggers. Okay, Purinju, so you know some of the companies and as we sit down on this step, well, that's my question to you. Some of these companies have virtually sat down and not managed to get up in the infrastructure space. Yeah. These are highly indebted companies as well. Are you looking in that pocket or are you looking at the infra companies which have had a good 12 months because they manage the balance sheet well? I mean, there are both examples. There is a there is a KNR construction, a Sadbhav Engineering, etc., which are good EPC companies yeah. and they've done well. And on the other side, there are the GBR, GVKs and some of the others which have not been able to get up. Where are you looking? It's very difficult to get a potential multi-bagger with very clean balance sheet. Got it. 
So you're looking at the other side. That's the psychology of the market. So you're looking at the other side. So you have to take some kind of reasonable risk, but make sure that this will be a sure survivor. Okay. And the, the size of the business should be large. Hmm. Size of execution capability should be large. And uh, maybe I'm just telling few names, you know, I'm not asking anybody to buy these stocks. Sure. Like Simplex uh, Infrastructure is a good, looking like a good company. Very, very large. Yeah. Their uh, uh, order book. And one more thing, some of these companies have got very old legacy order book, which can be dangerous also. Sure. They may be at 5-10% negative uh, profitability. Right. But the new orders coming up, all are with uh, you know 10, 15, 20 percent kind of uh, profit margin. While right. businesses are right. being uh, happening now, mm. and so these companies, some of them like uh, uh, Ohm Metal Infra, they are also getting in a big way into infrastructure, clean balance sheet, cash rich yeah. balance sheet. Not a very big company. Yes, you I'm, have I'm not asking there. people to go and buy this. Some of these companies might have already gone up. Pradiba Industries. Uh, again, I am not recommend. You know, just These not, are not I'm just giving you some clues to look into which ki what kind of companies you should look sure, into. Sure. We may have such kind of 10, 15, 20 companies yeah. in the infrastructure segment who have kept the balance sheet okay right. and ready to take advantage of the upcoming opportunities in the huge right. bids going to happen from government of India. Hmm. And I am very uh, confident government is hoarding funds for very big infrastructure push. Got That's it. a feel I have got. Sure. So this is one segment, hmm. but uh, I don't know how many investors can take part in that. Right. Uh, it's, a, it's a very big question. Uh, okay. the, the biggies like LNT and also different thing, I am not sure. anywhere there. Right, it's not right. my cup of tea. Okay, but so, look at the small group. Yeah, names small company. Well. I'm just telling these sure. names. I'm not recommending this. These are not recommendations, really. surely. Uh, but okay. but I'm giving that clue as sure. I told earlier. Okay, great. Ponej Valiat, uh, so that's a good indication as well. Uh, but stay on, lots more to speak about. And viewers, stay on as well. Uh, We've spoken about how the next summit could look like. Uh, we'll talk more about some specific uh, thought processes and talk a lot about how Porinjubali and his family celebrate Diwali in the evenings. That's coming up on the other side. Well, amidst all the diyas and the firecrackers, welcome back. We are in conversation with Porinju Vilayat at his house, 50 kilometers from Kochi. And Porinju, um, there, is, there is a well that I see out there. Let's assume it was a wishing well. And if you got a chance to make one wish for the new Sambat, what would that be? Yeah, anyway, it's a drinking water well. Yes. <laughs> uh, a wish, of course, uh, I believe, you know, um, from the stock market perspective, from the economy perspective, what India required today, more and more confidence in our leader, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, uh -huh. who I think he is uh, powerful enough to take our country into another level. Okay. I think they are doing uh, very, very good things with long-term vision and planning. So I think uh, we should support the present government. Uh -huh. It's a majority government. And I expect this uh, somewhat 2007 to more and more people, segments, other parties support him to take India, uh, you know, take, being taken forward. That can, that can be a big game changer. Uh, we are in the right direction. And he's a very strong leader. Hmm. And we were in need of a strong leader, and we have already got. People are in a hurry to, you know, uh, get the results in numbers, hmm. in corporate get results. The <laughs> yeah, but, but that Ache Din, we, we have to give time. Okay. Whatever said and done, nothing, nothing happens to so fast. Right. He has to do the basic background work. I think he has done a very good job in those things. Sure. And uh, I am very bullish on India. There is okay. no doubt about so it. So why, why, why do you say that the good things are happening? Do you see that in the economy? Do you see a bit of a turnaround happening? Economy, yes. Some, there are some pockets of uh, economy hmm. which, which started doing well, hmm. which have uh, shown the symptoms of turnaround. Okay. And uh, that, is, that is because of that work in the background happening, hmm. the big planning, the big projects, you know, 
uh, and th this is this is very important. We we have to give we have to have patience, give time to the government, mm. and uh, miraculous things can happen into our Indian economy. See, Niraj, one very important thing. 18% of the world population live in India. Mm. Investors should look at that big picture. 18% of the world population, they are enjoying 2.6% of the wealth. Mm. That's a huge gap. Okay. This gap... 2.6% of the world wealth is with the 18% of the population. It's yeah. a gap that will be filled. Yeah. And it is, even on a PPP, the, you know, ah. the uh, purchasing parity ah. level, it is around 6%, 6.5%. Okay. Even, even then, there is a huge gap. I believe, you know, even when you look at the how the way how China moved hmm. in the last uh, two three decades, hmm. we, India India is uh, definitely in some stage of that. Okay. And uh, that's going to be a big game changer. Okay. So if things are looking good, if people have to bet upon one, let's talk about the stock markets. If people had to bet upon one space, you mentioned EPC. That's a small space. But if there was one sector that was poised for a turnaround, or one space that people should watch out for, what is that? Just turn around industries. I would say that sector is like turn around companies, turn around industries. Okay. We will have next uh, next one year. Uh. Already we had many of them turned around. Uh. Companies, you know, went up by three times, five times, ten times, twenty times. Okay. In the mid cap and small cap segment. Okay. There are many more coming up. So don't focus on any sector industry wise. Uh. Look at the general market, which companies are turning around, which management is turning around, okay. the fortune of which industry is moving around. You know. Okay. Now. Uh, there are, there are many of them. India has such variety of stocks, sure. uh, small, penny caps, hmm. uh, mid caps, large mid caps, sure. large caps, mega caps. Right. And uh, So there is a book out focus, there. Go focus on buy. stock picking. I think uh, somewhat 2072, investors should focus on stock picking. Hmm. Of course, I believe Nifty and Sensex can move up by maybe 15, 20, 25 percent. Hmm. The, the basic structure is uh, showing me that way. Sure. So, but smart stock pickers can make 50%, 70%, 100% kind of uh, returns. Yeah, your fund has returned some 47, 48% if I'm not wrong. Yeah, definitely. This 2071, which was a challenging year, huh. we have got a flat uh, Nifty and Sensex, almost and around 8,000. We are, we are at 47%. So, uh, essentially, stock picking is the name of the game. Yes, so, yes, Purin yes. Juvaliyat, if, if our viewers wanted one Diwali gift from you, we, they want one Diwali gift from you, one stock idea which is which is safe, which people can invest and not lose sleep over. Is there an idea that you have? With that, you get disclosures, of course. Uh, I was just looking at one company, uh, the Hindustan Sanitary Wear, HSIL. Okay. Um, it's around 2,000 crores market cap, very decent balance sheet, and you know, they are into the sanitary wear and the glass container division, very big. Mm. They have done huge capex in the last uh, many years. Mm. The result of which is yet to come. Mm. They are adding to the product uh, uh, portfolio. Mm -hmm. So at 2000 crores, I feel it's not a big uh, multi bagger, mm -hmm. but I feel HSL could be a very safe, uh, maybe 25 30 percent compounder for next two, three, four years' time. And uh, I think that's something that's the kind of safe stocks investors should look for mm -hmm. in 2072. Okay. And uh, there are many of them. Okay. This HSL is something we are holding in our portfolio, right. uh, but it's a long term investment uh, from our side. Okay, great. So that's an etiquette disclosure as well. Watch out for turnaround sectors and if you wanted to bet on one stock, Purin Juveliyat believes that HSL could be a good opportunity. Adequate disclosures they have there in their portfolio. Okay, Purinju. Now, just before we wrap up uh, and start bursting the crackers, uh, let's play, uh, let's have a bit of fun. Let's play a bit of a rapid fire with you. Okay. I have to ask you questions. You do not have time to think. You cannot take time and give me a reply. You have to give it on the spur of the moment. Are we ready? Right. Great. Uh, Nifty, this time next year, 9,500 or 8,500? 9,500. One, one sector that you believe will definitely do well? The logistics. Okay, a turnaround sector to bet on? Sugar. Okay, a large cap company that you think will give good returns? Transport Corporation of India. Okay. If, if you consider it's a large cap, okay. I, I, for me it's a large cap, okay. at least in making. Banks, do well or not do well? I'm neutral on banks. Neutral on banks. And one woman that you like the most aside of your wife, Liti. <laughs> <laughs> One actress. Who's your favorite actress? Uh, Deepika Padukone, of oh, course. Yeah. Okay, great. Porin Juveliyat, thank you so much for joining us on this leg of At Home with uh, Porin Juveliyat, of course, at your place. It was really good having you. Team ET now loved being in this wonderful location. And uh, I'm sure the viewers uh, 
we'll want to wish you a very happy Diwali as well. And thank you. It was a great privilege for me, uh, Neeraj, you know, to be, uh, I'm so much honored you guys coming in here, yes. my home, and that also out of Mumbai. And uh, I'm so happy. Uh, I wish all the viewers of ET Now a wonderful new year ahead, a wealth creating 2072 somewhat. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash etnow and don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at etnowlive. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com slash user slash etnow.